I, I don't want to read anymore. <laughs> I'm creeped out. Hello, everybody. It's your girl, Jay. And today I am here with a video a little bit different than what I normally do. My mom had this idea for a video based off of the like try your chapter tag videos, but she decided that we were going to do a blind try your chapter tag video. So she chose four books from my shelf and wrapped them up. I have absolutely no idea what these books are. She's the only one that knows. And she figured that I can read the first chapter of these four books and then choose my next read based off of that. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun because I literally have no idea what genre or like anything about the books because she picked them and then wrapped them right away. So that's what we're gonna do today. So without further ado, let us get started. Mom also wanted to make it clear that she had to choose books that didn't have the title or author here. A lot of them have them though. And, and I'd be looking through and going, oh man, I put that one away. So she also she picked these like last year and I just never filmed this video. So this she doesn't even been, remember. I've been bugging and bugging and bugging going, could you please do it? Could you please do it? Yeah, they've been sitting on my bed for months, but she doesn't even remember what she picked. So it's an adventure for her too. Yay. Yeah. So <laughs> Okay. Fun. There okay, you go. getting back to my reading. So the first one that I have is pretty thin. No idea what it's about. It has like cool like tire marks. So I'm gonna guess it's like a thriller or like a contemporary like road trip kind of book, but I have no idea. So this is the first book. We're gonna read the first chapter. The first chapter is only like seven pages. So let's see how it goes, I guess. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually so intrigued by this first book. So basically, there's two point of views. I kind of cheated and read a little bit farther than I was supposed to. So the first chapter follows some girl named Savannah Taylor, and she's like practicing kung fu in her room when her mom's boyfriend opens the door. She does not like her mom's boyfriend, and she goes downstairs, and she sees her mom cooking breakfast because she has to go to school. She sees that her mom has like bruises on her arm from like somebody grabbing her, so she's telling her mom mom that like they have to get out because it's not a good relationship and then Tim walks in Tim's the mom's boyfriend and asks them what they're talking about and the mom's like nothing so it's an abusive relationship I'm assuming but then the second chapter is from somebody called sir which we don't know who it is obviously but he's driving a van following Savannah to school like really slowly but he has like a little notebook where he wrote down December 7th 3 50 p.m. corner 36 and Camin tall straight dark hair bright blue coat alone he underlined alone twice and then he gives them a rating so he put seven and he's on the hunt for the perfect girl so I'm guessing thriller kidnapping story we don't actually know if the girl that he's following is Savannah, but at the end of the first chapter, she was leaving for school, so I'm assuming it's her. I'm intrigued because I love me a good kidnapping story, which sounds creepy, but this one, ooh, I wanna know what book it is because I am very curious. Okay, second one, this one, no idea. It's very floppy, so that's fun. The writing, the heading is kind of thrillery in my opinion. Like it looks like it's gonna be a thriller book, but I'm gonna start this and then I will be back shortly. This one is 14 pages long, so it's a little bit longer than the last one. <laughs> Okay, I'm only on page three and I am sufficiently creeped out. So it follows a girl named Alicia and her sister Ava, who I think are twins because Alicia is in the car with a boy named Casey and he can't tell the difference between Ava and Alicia. So I'm assuming that Ava like sent Alicia on this date with the guy that she was seeing, but he's like full on like attempting to rape her in a car right now. So um, it's really creepy and I am not enjoying it. So basically Alicia's like saying she wants to leave now and he goes, so that's the way it's going to be? Fine with me. We can do this the easy way and you can sit back and enjoy it. Or we can do this the hard way. Your call. Ooh! I, I don't want to read anymore. <laughs> I'm creeped out. 
Okay, now I'm confused. So she's trying to get out of the car with this dude, Casey. So she's like saying, just let me out of here. I'll get in the car and go home and we'll forget about it. And then he says, I'll give you something you won't forget. He says, roughly, don't you worry about that, Alicia. But I thought that he thought she was Ava. But now he knows that it's Alicia, which is also creepy. But then she goes on to like, in her monologues, go, tonight, I'm not Lexi, I'm Alicia, strong, confident, and infinitely capable. I might give up, but Alicia would fight this asshole to her very last breath. So is Alicia like an alternate personality that her and her sister like pretend to be? Or like, what the heck is going on? I'm only on page four now, so like, I'm still confused, but like also very intrigued, but also what is going on? She just clawed him with her keys. So I am here for Alicia slash Lexi, whoever you are. You fight, girl. You fight. Okay, so I just finished chapter one and Alicia turns out to be like the twins, Ava and Lexi's like imaginary friend. Like they used to blame everything on her when they were younger. So like if they like ate all the chocolate chip cookies, they would be like, Alicia did it. So now they use Alicia as like a scapegoat for things that they shouldn't be doing. So the end of this chapter, Ava comes home and asks how Alicia's date went and it turns out that she was also going to a party as Alicia but there's like a rule between the twins that only one of them can be Alicia at the same time so they get in a fight about that and Lexi says that she thinks that they should quit the Alicia thing because they're going off to college soon so they should be themselves blah 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 and then Ava says that she thinks that Casey needs to pay for what he did to Lexi so I'm getting like a John Tucker must die vibes so I'm really really hoping that it's gonna turn into like that kind of situation where like revenge plot I'm actually liking this one too so this one stalker kidnapping this one John Tucker must die so far I'm having a good time okay book number three hardcover so there's that the front page is like this you know I'm gonna go fantasy but also maybe thriller because you know it's dark but fantasy books are usually the ones with cool things in it so I don't know but we're gonna get started on chapter one by somebody named Mia apparently so there's that this one is 14 pages as well so we're gonna get started on the reading and I may or may not jump back with my thoughts depending if I have any <laughs> Okay, I'm only on page four and I already think I know what book this is. I think it's Becoming Leah. No idea who it's by, like I can't remember the author's name, but I'll put up like a picture of what, what it is, like what I think it is right here. But it's about this girl named Mia who has a headache and she says that they started when her sister Leah was taken. I'm pretty sure Becoming Leah is about a girl who like becomes her sister after she was kidnapped. So I think I have it figured out, but you know, I'll get back to you if that's accurate or not. Okay, totally unrelated to like this whole story, but this girl Amber, who is Mia's best friend, is talking about how Mia is like really, really smart and she's gonna like be super successful and work in a laboratory and blah, blah, blah. And then Amber's like, yeah, but I'm gonna be asking people whether they want paper or plastic, unless I can nab a rich guy. And I'm like, relatable bitch relatable so just wanted to you know share that piece of information that i am looking for a sugar daddy if anybody wants to supply me with endless money where i don't have to actually do anything or touch you so hit me up if you're interested in giving me money okay so i just finished the third first chapter and like i said i think i know what book this is but i'm not really that interested in it based off of the first chapter like i am more hooked on these ones than this one but i'm hoping that if this is the one you guys choose for me to read that it gets a little more interesting but basically mia twin sister leah disappeared one day and now like she's just going through high school by herself if it's the book i'm thinking of i think that she like slowly starts like becoming leah in some way i don't know like mentally she like takes on her personality or if it's like a conscious decision i don't know but yeah, that's the third book. I'm not really all that interested in it based off of the other two books that I've read so far, but now we're gonna move on to the fourth and final book, another floppy book. This one has some cool like icicles at the top, so again, could be fantasy 
could be thriller. These past three have been thrillers, so I don't know if my mom picked all thrillers on purpose or what, but we're gonna start reading this one. This one, the first chapter is 16 pages, so let us get started on our reading. Okay, after four pages, I'm gonna say it is a fantasy book because the girl can make fire come out of her hands. So I'm thinking definitely fantasy because I don't think that that happens in thriller books. Okay, six pages in now. I have a guess of what this book is, but also not 100% sure. I think it's Frostblood. Again, cannot remember the author's name. I want to say it's like Emily Blake or something like that. Probably definitely wrong. I'll put up a picture here of it, but it's talking about Firebloods and Frostbloods. So that's literally the only reason why I'm guessing that. Could be very wrong. Okay, I'm done this. I'm pretty like 100% sure that it is Frostblood. Out of like all of them, I think I'm the most intrigued by the first and second one, the kidnapping story, which I'm like really into, and then the like third twin triplet situation going on with Alexis over here. So in the comments below, let me know if you guys want me to do like a finish the book reading vlog kind of thing out of the four of them. I mean, I'm probably going to read all of them anyways, but like which one do you guys want to see unveiled, revealed, whatever you want to call it? Let me know in the comments down below which one you want me to read in a reading vlog. And then throughout the whole like reading experience, I'll keep trying to guess what books they are because I'm pretty good at like knowing what's on my shelves. So we're gonna see if I can figure out what all four of these are in the end, but let me know which one you want me to read first. And then at the end of the vlog, I will unravel and see if I'm correct. But yeah, thank you for joining me for my uh, blind try a chapter tag. Still don't know what any of the books are, but it was fun. So I'm gonna go read one of these now, but I still don't know which one. Goodbye. Yeah.